You're not going to bloody believe this. He's only gone and done it. A man who I thought I could trust with all of me livelihood. A man who I thought followed every left and right turn that I've made in my life and I'm gonna make. A man who hasn't invited us to his bloody 21st birthday at Fabio's in County Durham. Simon Cox, are you playing a trick on me? Is this some kind of joke? Simon Cox, just because I didn't add you to the mailer list on Outlook for me 103 subscriber party doesn't mean I didn't want you there. It doesn't mean I didn't want you there. I was looking for the me subscribers with the most interactions, the most likes, the most comments, the most shares. That's what it was. That was what the mailing list was. I bought you this. 21. I bought you this. Think I'm giving you this now? Absolutely not. I'll give it to I'll give it to me mum for her 60th. If you're gonna be like that. I've got time to feel like you, Simon Cox. And you think I'm not turning up? You think I'm not turning up? Do you not know Fabio's has a back door? Fabio's has a back door and multiple windows on this side. So I'll see you there, sharpish. I know 103 subscribers is a bigger milestone than the 21st, right? Granted. Yes, I understand that. You should have been there. But for heaven's sake, me and you, me, do you know how, do you, <laughs> Do you know how many times me and you have shared laughs together? Do you know how many times? 13 times in epiphany term. We had a laugh together. And at the expense of what? At the expense of me having to sit in my room on a Thursday night. Having a toss. Oh, oh Josh, you're making a breakthrough on digital media with that videography. Oh, oh Josh. Oh, oh, can you sign me hat? Oh, no Simon. If you're not going to invite me to your birthday parties, then I'm not going to do no such thing, Simon. And that's the end of it. And what I don't understand, Simon, surely it's in your best interest to have me there in attendance. Like, do you think a social gathering is going to reach the heights, the peaks, its full potential without McCulloch in attendance? I bring everyone together, I unite people. There'll be, there'll be someone in the corner not speaking to anybody, having an atrocious night, she comes away with me doing the Markham and Wise dance. A night without me is no more than a 6 out of 10. A night with me, the sky's the limit, Simon. The sky's the limit. And you're going to realise that the hard way when you look back in your photo gallery of your 21st party and you've got them big funny glasses on. You've got your big funny glasses on from the magic box. Hey, let's get this show on the road. Simon Cox, your birthday party. You don't think I'm coming? I'm going out the front door right now as we speak. And you think I'm not allowed a plus one? You think we're not on the guest list? We're on the guest list in my rule book, sunshine. After jumping over three barbed wire fences, running away from two security dogs, and climbing up a drain pipe, me and Matthew Ian Boyle landed in Fabio's. And there Simon Cox was, looking as radiant as ever. He seemed to be having quite the night without me, but I thought I must confront him and ask him why I didn't receive an invitation through my letterbox. As the night progressed, even after having four Malibu Coca-Colas, I was beginning to lose my nerve. And then I bumped into the man himself. And let's just say, I didn't voice my discontent quite how I would have liked. He then realised shortly after that I wasn't on the guest list and had me forcibly removed by two of the club's bouncers. But yet my plus one Matthew Boyle was welcomed with open arms and professed he had a night like no other.